the fragility of the glass is difficult to break as it would be to put together the many pieces of this glass. Mazel tov!
publishing. It's $12.95 on Amazon. I'm sorry to say, well, you can get a used copy on Amazon for $1.39. But I would encourage a new copy because it's valid. Paul did indeed write the book, so to speak. Um, in any case, I don't know if you know, but he actually finished this, and he's always into it. He's very talented, and he's into a lot of different projects. He's actually working on a sequel. The sequel is Host Brunch Get White. <laughs> But true, through friend of a friend, Trey literally walked into Paul's door. Now, you know, this is interesting news. This has really, you know, taken everybody on the dating circle quite a back because there's a certain disgruntled segment who sees that, you know, the low effort that Paul expended, you know, he opens his door, she comes walking in. It's a little annoying. I mean, there are a lot of people, you know, who spend a lot of money with Match.com, you do the personal, you do the single bars, you do the blind date thing. So, you know, there's a better segment, I have to say, <laughs> that I don't know, I, I encourage you to get a copy of the book, and I would, I would turn your attention to page 15, and the quote is, um, the philosophy is best in this book on page 15, is quote, unquote, get out of the house. You may think your chances of meeting a man in the elevator or in the supermarket are small, but your chances of meeting one in your living room are zero. <laughs>
songs about red boys and what's on the Rainbows are visions, but all the illusions and rainbows are nothing to find. What's so amazing that keeps us stuck gazing?
was so that she could replicate it and be precise as possible on the dog. Greatest friend I've ever had in my entire life. Ten. And we met through Lena Bernstein, and she had pigtails. I was in London, and she met me at the tube, and she greeted me in short shorts, a beret, and and a long pigtail. You know, it was the middle of London, and I suddenly thought. And we're going to the palace, she said. <laughs> she said, oh, yes. And so off we were. I, I felt like a very old man. And <laughs> with this absolutely wild person. <laughs> and, uh, and she's always been that way. And if she were a song, what song would she be? Glitter and Be Gay, which Leonard Bernstein wrote. Fascinating rhythm. Um, Glitter and Be Gay, that's the price I'm paying. You're <laughs> <laughs> and you know the ha 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 that got faster and faster and then Bernstein stopped and said him, you know, he dug his heel in and he said, what the fuck are you doing? I didn't intend it to be that but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>